About five years ago, Polaris introduced this, the general side-by-side. -side. And since then, they tell me it's been very successful. But what is it exactly? And this model you see right here is actually a 2021 Pursuit Edition, which is currently their top-of-the-line machine. But how do you make this decision? Should you get a Polaris General or should you get a Razor like this one right here? In this video, I'm going to show you some of the difference between them, but also tell you everything that's new on this Polaris General. So what is a Polaris General? Well, think about it like this. It's a high-performance off-road machine that can also do some work. So it's about 70% fun, so to speak, and about 30% work. So it's a great way if you're trying to justify it to your spouse or a significant other. You know, you can say, honey, yeah, uh, the General is really good because I can do work with it. It has more payload, it has a bed. Check this out. Yes, it has a full dump bed. And of course, this Pursuit Edition has additional options and features to it. And what makes the Pursuit Edition unique is this rear storage area and the rack, and also the gun case and the gun holder. Um, yes, a lot of customers who buy these hunt, but they don't hunt all the time. So you can actually remove the gun mount, you can move the rack. There is not a lot of camo on this machine, I think it's well done because I'm not a huge camo fan. I don't want the entire vehicle covered in leaves, but I think this is well done to where you can kind of see uh, there's a special model, but also it kind of blends into the surroundings. But this is basically what it is. It has a short bed, 600 pound of payload right here in the back, and it still has a 100 horsepower engine. This is a 1000 version. And yes, it has very fancy shocks that I'll show you in a second. In the general, if you want to get comfortable, you could always adjust the tilt and the gauges move with you, which is really great. And you actually feel like a kind of a performance machine or uh, like a car or a truck would be. Regular seat, regular seat belt, your console mounted uh, transmission shifter, your key is here, your winch control, your headlights your little uh, Rockford Fuzzgate audio control system. This is not the ultimate one with the uh, ride control, but it's still the new Pursuit Edition. The general lineup starts with the sport model, but this is top of the line. And as such, uh, this has a very fancy Walker Evans racing suspension setup. Uh, these are adjustable shocks. They have obviously piggyback reservoirs for additional fluid, higher performance, and they're adjustable. But you get out, you set it, and then you keep going. So you kind of need to predict what you want to do. Are you uh, in a sporty mood? Are you by yourself and you want to go really fast? You can make it the suspension stiff. Or are you with the family and you want to entertain people and you don't want to beat them up? You turn it soft. And there's a huge difference from all the way soft to all the way hard. There's about 18 different settings between them. While both the Razor and the General have independent suspensions all the way around and they're pretty sophisticated, slightly different design and part of it is actually a built-in hitch right here in the general and this machine will tow you will not find a hitch at least from the factory on the razor yes you can potentially add it later but but it's not meant for that the razor is an all-out performance machine for ultimate fun and the general is here to have some fun but also do a little bit of work as an example here's the rear cargo compartment on a razor Yes, it's smaller, there's no tilt bed function, and right here you can put up to about 300 pounds in the back, and up to 600 pounds in the general. So, as you can see already, 
twice as much payload in the general so you can do actual work. This is a small thing but noteworthy I think. In the general you basically have an automotive style door. It opens in a very common way. There is an exterior handle, there is a nice seat, nice egress, all good. But check out the razor. The handle is inside as before of course and it's a suicide style door. Of course you can get various accessories, various doors options, but this machine feels a little bit different if you're used to cars and trucks, whereas the General feels like a little truck. Inside the General the theme of like a truck continues because you have a large center console, very common. Um, you have your shifter which is in the center, you have two cup holders, you have a center console for storage, you have lots of cubby holes, you have a glove box, it's all, I feel at home here, like if this was a little pickup truck, uh, I wouldn't know a difference. Of course, there's a lot of different functionality built in here too. This one has a windshield, which is optional. Um, and you have a wiper, you have your lights, additional lights for the light bars, and a winch control as well. This also has a continuously variable transmission like most Polaris models. And you have low gear and high gear. If you're moving slowly or you need to crawl or maybe pull a trailer, low gear is recommended. And I had an opportunity to take this model out on the trail and also I drove a more basic one. And I gotta tell you, you can have a lot of fun in these machines. It feels almost like a razor, almost. Yeah, I know somebody's been running this razor all day so it's all muddy, but the seatbelt system is very different between the two. It's automotive style in the general and it's this six point system right here in the razor and it has a little bit of give. So yeah, it is a very sophisticated nice system, but it's different. And once again, the interior of the razor, um, there's a little bit of uh, difference here. This one is not equipped with their touch screen or anything like that. And the console is much smaller. So this one, it feels to me a little bit narrower inside because it is, but still it's, you could see the corners very well, it's more performance oriented. The General is a little bit more of a truck. If you're talking about wheels and tires, there are not very many differences between the two. This is a General, this is a 30 inch tall tire, um, and this is currently as big as it gets. Yes, I know you can get a 32 inch tall tire on a Razor, but in general, very similar wheel designs. Uh, but the interesting part about the General is that on this model, the Pursuit, the front tire tread, is different from the rear and Polaris says that specifically to make the ride a little bit more compliant and there you can get a little bit more bite for steering from this design and you can put the power down with the rear tire design so it's very unique uh, but also done for performance just a little bit on the more comfortable side of course there is one huge difference these two models basically have the same engine. It's a 1000 model, which means about 100 horsepower in the general, about 110 horsepower here, but the Razor lineup goes way higher in horsepower. You can get turbocharged models. In the Turbo S, it's about 168 horsepower. In the Pro XP, which is also a turbo engine, that's 181 horsepower. You're almost doubling the power in the general. So yeah, if you want high performance, high speed running, monstrous power, the Razor is your choice. And of course, if you want 100 horsepower, boom, General. The new Polaris General lineup starts at around 16,000 bucks. Of course, once you step up with all the options to the, this model, this is the Pursuit, um, you're starting at around 24,000. And if you get a four-seater, now you're moving up into like $26,000 range. But if you're trying to decide between a Razor and in general, I hope this video helps you. And go back to tfloffroad.com for the latest news views and real world side-by-side off-road machines.